Hello, eighth graders. How are you? I hope everything is very good with you. And here, right now, I solve with you guys the formative number four. Yes. And to be you, be ready for the summative. Great. Let's do it right now. Are you ready for the formative number four? I hope so. Yes. And... Determine the number of solution x plus 9 equals x plus 11. I will use here the web painting to solve this one. Great. Right now, I need here, I move this x by his opposite. It is negative x. Negative x here. And put by this x here. x minus x, 0. And I got 9 equals negative 11. Is this statement true? Mm -mm. No. Then I'm talking about no solution. Great. Done. The second one. Determine the number of solutions. 2x minus 7 equals 3x plus 8. Let's open again the two here. And here. It's pretty simple. Let me raise everything. Nice. Okay. Let me move this. 2x to the opposite is better move to the left to right okay guys because i have the positive result when i think we do it this one negative 2x the result is just x i have here negative 7 equals x plus 8 and i move right now this 8 by his opposite it is negative 8 negative 7 plus negative 8 I have two negative integers. I have here 15, negative 15 equals x. Okay, I have one solution. If I have one solution, oh, great, I have one solution. <laughs> Easy. Number four, determine the number of solutions 6x plus 2 equals 6x plus 2. Great, let me open again here. Nice. Oh, let me clean everything. This one, 6x plus 2. I here did the distributive 6x. 6x times 2. It is positive 12 equals 6x plus 12. Oh, both is the same. And I, I learn or in our class, when I have this situation, the statement here is true. I got infinite solutions. Great. This one here, create your own unique no solution equation. Great. I would do it on a hard one. No, I would not. But just for you to understand, guys, this is pretty simple. Equation, you need a variable, x, and a number, multiplication, whatever you have it. I just write plus 9 equals... The other side of the equation, I need a number, the variable again. Remember, the variable must be the same. And the number 2, mister, no. If the number is 2, both sides are equals. We have infinite solution, but I need a no solution. If I need a no solution, I can use any number. No, but not. I cannot use number 9. But I answer can any other number. Let me use negative 3. And done. Oops, sorry, I forgot the x. x minus 3. Done. I have here my special solution. We have this case no solution because if I move the variables, I got 9 equals negative 3. Mm -mm. No, this is false. Great. Then it is a no solution. Done. Let's solve this one here. Mm, we have here the test. Solve the equation. It is for, uh, I use again the drawing, oops, okay. Let me use again the drawing to web painting here to solve this one. Oh, let me clean the, nice. Here I have to first, I need to, let me use another color, use this one. Great, uh, okay. Ah, uh, nice, okay, I have this color here. Let me just, oops, sorry guys. Great. Here, let's just move this one here. Let's cross multiply. Remember this one? We need to cross multiply. Great. 
and you cross multiply here you got it for x minus 2 okay and you got it the other thing here is x minus 1 times x minus 2 great to solve this one for x this one this is negative 8 and this one I need to distribute here to solve those problem here and I check it out guys the result here it's this question this special question here I will change it okay I will not grade you because this special situation here I I didn't talk to, talk to you guys about this okay but don't worry I will grade everybody here about this test here about the affirmative great don't worry about this one great and let's go let's move over let's go to the next one uh, let me just go out here let's move it here 7 17.3 what is the value of x just pretty simple you need first thing to distribute distribute a half times x oh sorry uh, one fifth times x is one fifth x one fifth times negative 15 uh, 15 divided by 5 it is negative 3 negative 3 equals 7 right now I need to move this number negative 3 by his opposite great it is positive 3 plus 3 it is 10 and here I don't have anything more the result is unfifth x equals 10 Remember guys, I have a here the equation and it flip it. I move it by flipping it. Okay? I move by his opposite. I have this I divide in here, I multiply. Right now here is times 5. x equals I don't have here more on fifth. x equals 10 times 5 it is x equals 50. Great? Pretty simple. You can see this after, no problem, it's pretty easy to see it. Next one, the same thing. X, you can, oh, you can, we can do it here. Great, better. Here have X over 6 equals 8, uh, 8 over 3. X over 6 equals 8 over 3. You cross multiply, it is 3X, uh, 8 times 6. You solve this one, 3x equals 8 times 6, it is 48, 48, and you move this, how many times 3 goes into 48? Mm, I think it is 19, oh yes, let's see, let's check, okay, x equals 48 divided by 3, I can solve it, really simple, great, and here it is 16. Great. 3 times 6 is 4 is 18. Go on. Go on. Carry 1. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4. 48. Great. Done this one here. And let's move it. Number 9. What is the value of the equation here? N minus 2. The same thing. We do it. Let's solve this one. M minus 2 over 6 equals 1 third. You cross multiply 3m minus 2 equals 6, 6 times 8. I know it already is 48, but let's do it. 3m minus 3, 6. Oh, my minus 3 times 2 is 6 equals 48. I move this 6 by his opposite plus 6. 3 amps equals 48 plus 6 to 50, 54. How many times 3 goes into 54? <coughs> let me check, let me check. 3 times, let me check. 30, and I have 24. Uh, 18 times, 18 times. 3 times 8 is 24, carry 2. And 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 is 54. Great. Done. Let's solve it. Number 10. Absolute value of x equals 5. Remember, guys, what you need to do. Don't need to graph. Okay, guys, you don't need to graph here. Great. Don't need it. Just, just solve pretty simple here. 
how do you solve this, mister? Let's check here. I have absolute value. I need breaking down two results. One positive, x equals 5. The other one, negative, x equals negative 5. Just it. Yes, just it. And I remember the solution set. Solution set. Negative 5 and 5. And remember the curly bracket. Done. Great. Yes, that's it. That's it, guys. Pretty simple, yes? Nice. Let's go to the next one. Solve here. All right, now I have not hard, but very, pretty simple to solve it. Let's do it here. I have here, and remember, I need to make sure to be isolated, okay? I have a number outside the bars here. Let's move this one by his opposite, positive 3. And they have the absolute value of n equals 4 plus 3 is 7. And breaking down into results. 1 positive, n equals 7. Other negative, n equals negative 7. Done. Pretty simple. Let's move on. Reasoning, how many solutions can you get when you solve absolute value equations? Select all that apply. Mm, let me think about it. Let me understand a little bit. How do I solve it? Okay, I need to understand how many solutions do I have when I have absolute value. Mm, okay, when I have absolute value, I have this situation like if the number is negative, the other side, I have absolute value bars, I don't have any solution. Yes, zero. When I have one solution, when I have solution, if the absolute value equals zero, I have just one solution. I don't have any negative zero. Zero is zero. Okay, one solution. Two solutions. Okay, we did one here. This one here. We have two solutions. Can we have more than two? Yes, we have a special cases. In future, we have more solutions, okay? Infinitely solutions. Okay, or many solutions. Great. We can have all those apply here in this situation. Great. Reasoning. Explain why the absolute value uh, of the equation has no solution. Remember, I told you guys, in this case here, we have the bars. Where is the bars here? Okay, it's here. 3x. I move this positive 8 by his opposite. Okay? I, don't, I prefer to use the drowning. Let's drown. Let's drown in. It's better. Great. Oh, let's clean this one. The first thing, I need, I need to move 8 by his opposite, negative 8. 5 minus 8 is negative 3. Negative 3 equals 3x. Absolute value for 3x. Remember, guys, do I have any absolute value negative? The result is negative number? Mm -mm. I don't have any. It's impossible. Okay? That's why. The reasoning is I don't have absolute value for our negative numbers. Great? That's, it. That's the reasoning. You type here. And here. At the restaurant, Mike and his friends decide to divide the bill evenly. If each person paid 13, then what's the total bill? Great. Simple here too. We are in the restaurant and we have, we have to pay. Okay, I need to understand the total. The total is the X, my X. Equals each person paid 3. 3, oh, 13, sorry, 13. And we are in restaurant, Mike and his three friends. Mike and his three friends is the result. Oh, Mike and his three friends is four, sorry. Four people. Four people was in the restaurant. Oops, here. Okay, let me, okay, okay. Three times four. I just solve it, okay? Three times four, 13 times four. I decide to divide it if each person paid 13. Okay. It's it. What is it? Uh, I can rewrite this one as the equation I told you guys. I have here, I have to pay x divided by 4 people equals 13. And if I rewrite, I go here, this guy here, 13 times 4. I move this by this opposite operation. It's multiply. 13 times 4, it is... 3 times 4, it is 12. 
carry one, four times one is plus one, two, 52. And it is this one, question here, 52. 15. You are renting a bike from downtown. The bike company charges 10 for the bike plus 2 for each hour you have the bike. If you spend a total of 26 hours, 26, uh, 26 dollars, how many hours did you rent the bike? Great. This is easy. Let's solve again. You are renting a bike. The bike company charges 10 dollars for the bike. $10 for the bike plus $2 for each hour, hour X, you have spent the total 26. Great. Right now I can understand how did I pay for those bike rents here. Let's understand this one. I moved 10 by his opposite, negative 10. It is 16. 2X equals 16. How many times 2 goes into 16? Mm, it is? Yes, 8. I spent 8 hours. Remember word problems, word answer. Remember to write here, I, I spent, I spent 8 hours. Great. Let's go next one. A Billy has a gift card with, uh, uh, with a balance of 150. He buys several video games that cost 35 each. After the purchase, his gift card balance is 45. Write an equation blah, 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 to express the many video games Billy bought. Solve the equation. Okay, Billy has a gift card with a balance of 150. Okay, the final result is 150. Okay. He buys several video games. Okay, several video games. I will do it like X. I call you X. That costs 35 each. 35 each. Okay, 35 each. If I pay it, I will multiply. Uh, his gift card balance is 45. Okay, oh, nice. He's 45. Okay, I have this one. I will subtract, okay, let's understand this one. I will subtract here, let me subtract. 150 minus X times 35, and I got the final result, 45. Let's solve this one. Great, right now I have it, it's okay, pretty simple. Let's understand this one here. Uh, right now I moved here, 150, by his opposite, negative 150. And I got it 105. 105. I have here equals, oh sorry, it's negative 105. Negative x times, x times 35, guys, as you know, it is, oops, x times 35, it is negative 35x. It's better to write like, like this right now. How many times 35 goes into 105? Mm, let's check it. Okay, let's check this one. And one time, two times, three times, just divide it, okay? 35, 105. And we know this is a positive result, okay? Because negative and negative is a positive, okay? Just this one time, two times, three times. Let me check this one. I think I will try mm, three times. Three times. Three times five is 15. Carry one. Three times three is nine plus one. Yes. It is exactly three times. X equals three. Then he bought three video games. Okay, great. 17. Last week, Julia ran 30 miles more than Pranav. Julia ran 47 miles. How many miles did Pranav run? Great. Let's understand this one. It's pretty simple. Just understand this one here. Uh, let me open again here. Nice, let me clean. Last week, Julia ran 30 miles. Okay, Julia. Julia called J. Julia ran 30 miles more than Pranav. Okay, Julia ran 30 miles. 30 miles. Then Pranav. Pranav was just P. All right, P. Julia ran 47 miles. Uh, uh, 
Julia, we, uh, let me understand again. Last week, Julia ran 30 miles more than Pranav. Okay? Julia equals 30 miles plus Pranav. Great. Julia ran 47 miles. She ran 47 miles. Nice. 30 plus B. Nice. Let's understand right now. I moved this 30 by his opposite. Negative 30. And it is... 17. Pranav run 17. Great. Just it. Next one, 18. Write the following interval notation for this guy here. X less than 8. Okay. If I write the number line, just for you remember, guys, let's write the number line here. I have a number line. I have a number 8 here. 8. Okay, 8 is here. I look for numbers less than. Here, create open circle. And here is negative infinite. And here is number 8. And the result is parentheses, negative infinite, comma, 8 parentheses. That's it. Pretty simple, yes? Nice. Let's go over next. Write the following interval notation. The same thing. Same idea. Great. Let me clean this one here. I have number 7. Number 7 over here. And here, remember, it's a solid. Why, mister? This is a solid. Look. Greater than or equal to. Equal to. This is a included. And I look for numbers greater than. Nice. It's here. Here's a positive infinite and 7. Okay, start with number 7. Right now I need a bracket, comma, and here. This guy is here. Great. Nice. Next one. Write down the equation that the result is. I have a number 7. Okay, I, I know these two guys here. It is an infinite. Here is a negative infinite. And here is number 7. Great, I have number 7. I know it's number 7. I'm looking for numbers less than 7. Okay, a numbers less than 7 is open circle. Don't need just the less than. Just it. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Yes, 21. You need solvent graph. Simple too. Remember here what I have to do here. Let's clean this one. And right now here, let's solve it. Move this 5 by his opposite, negative 5. 13 minus 5 it is. 13 minus 5, 13 minus 5. Oh, this, let me solve this one. 13 minus 5. The first one, it is no, 3 and after more 2, 8. 8 less than 2x. How many times 2 goes into 4? Oh, oh two, two, 8 is 4, 4 times. 4 less than 2. Nice. Oh, well, that's an X, not two. X. Okay, let me. Okay, nice. Better. X. Nice. Let's graph here. I have number four. Number four, open circle because it's greater than, less than. I'm looking for numbers. Number four is the. I look for number less than four. Okay, less than four. I'm looking for numbers less than four. This is the case, okay? The interval notation, if they ask, negative infinite, number four, negative infinite, parentheses because, and here, parentheses again. Nice. 22, the same thing. Write the following interval notation. Guys, this is easy. You don't need to do nothing. Why, yes, mister, yes. Remember, great, less than, parentheses. Here's the, the limit is already here, negative 7. The end point is already there, negative 7. I have the inward and goes into with the other end point, number 0. And here is the bracket because it's equal to. Nice. And this 123, what compound inequality represents the phrase? All real numbers that are greater than or equal to 0. And less than 8. Oh, it's easy. All real number greater than 0. 
Okay, x greater than 0. And less than 8. x less than 8. This is the graph. Okay, 0 here and 8 here. And they're looking for this situation. This is the graph. Okay? Simple, pretty simple. You don't need to do the right here, the, uh, the interval notation. And uh, this 24, solve and graph. The same thing, use the case below. X minus 2, you need to remember to do it. It is important. All right, let me just clean this one again. This guy is X minus 2 minus 5 less than negative 2. You move this, isolate it first. Plus 5, it is 3 positive. Here, x minus 2. Nice. Right now, we're breaking down in 2. The first one, x minus 2 less than 3. And the other one, x minus 2. Remember, negative, I need to flip. Flip the sign on. Greater than negative 3. Nice. Just solve it, guys. Move this 2 by his opposite. Is positive 2, it is 3 plus 2, it is 5, which is 5. And this one move again, positive 2, have a negative 1, negative 1, x greater than negative 1. Nice to graph, it's pretty simple. The endpoints it is negative 1, negative 1, and 5. 5 is over here. And then looking for numbers less then 5, like this, less than 5, and greater than negative 1, greater than negative 1, like here, inward, okay? And just for interval notation, if they ask, negative 1, comma, 5, parentheses, both is parentheses because open circle. Great. Last one, solvent graph, the same thing, the same is for, for you, for you is the easiest. Here is the same case. R minus 3 greater than 2. Breaking down. Okay, remember to oh, move first. Isolated and you know, isolated first. It is 5 greater than R. And it's breaking down in 2. The first one you keep it. Greater than 5. And the last one you need to flip the sign of negative 5. You graph this one, the endpoint is negative 5 and 5. I'm looking for numbers greater than 5, all towards, and less than negative 5. Here is the case. The numbers is negative infinite, negative 5, the endpoints, 5 and infinite. Let's write the interval notation here. It is parentheses, negative infinite, comma, negative 5, parentheses again, or... 5, parentheses, remember open circle, and infinite, as you know, is parentheses, always. Great. Uh, it's the last. Guys, that's it. I know the video is long because it's a lot of exercise. Uh, remember that one I told you guys, uh, I didn't tell you that thing. Don't worry. I will grade everybody that this one like you did it. Okay. But remember to work a little bit more in our exercise. Okay. This is our class. See you. Bye-bye. Have a good summative.